But first, for the second time in 24 hours, we've confirmed a local restaurant worker has tested positive for hepatitis A. Our mobile app users received this push alert letting them know an employee at the Silverthorne Country Club restaurant in Spring Hill may have exposed customers just last month. It comes less than a day after we told you a dishwasher at Ferg's worked multiple days at the popular St. Pete restaurant while being infected. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Now we're up to 955 cases in our state this year alone. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is live outside of Ferg's. Sarah, some say Florida leaders aren't doing enough to keep us from getting sick. Yeah, people that work in restaurants here in Florida are not required to get a hep A vaccine or get tested for the virus. So sometimes by the time the health department finds the virus, it's already spread to customers. Frank Toth and his wife often dine at restaurants, but news about hep A cases at some popular Tampa Bay establishments concerns them. It makes you want to eat at home more. He's shocked to hear Florida doesn't require restaurant workers to get the hep A vaccine or get tested for the virus. It's a simple, before you get this job, go get vaccinated. Hepatitis A can spread when an infected worker doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom and then touches your food. Who wants to get hepatitis A? There have been 955 cases of hepatitis A this year alone, according to the Florida Department of Health, with seven months left in the year. That compares to 549 in 2018 and 276 in 2017. And while not all cases come from restaurants, some Bay Area doctors wonder if more should be done to protect all of us. I think it would be a good idea that at least be highly recommended for anyone in the food preparation service to be vaccinated. Johns Hopkins infectious disease specialist Juan Dumois says even getting a single vaccine is 95% effective. You're not only protecting all your clients and the people that you work with, you protect yourself. Restaurant worker Rebecca Kruger worries required vaccines could impact recruitment. She also worries about cost. It's um, really hard, especially for um, if the restaurant's not willing to offer health insurance, how they can require you to take a vaccination. Only a few cities across the country require these hep A vaccines for restaurant workers. But the spike in cases has many hoping it serves as a wake-up call. I think that's ridiculous, especially with something that's so simple to test for. Now, we contacted two departments, the Department of Health and also the Department of Business Regulation. Both of them tell us that it's up to lawmakers now to make this change. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah, thank you. And I've been investigating these local cases of hepatitis A for months now, including one at a Tarpon Springs restaurant that was never made public. You can find my reports under the iTeam section of abcactionnews.com and share them with your friends so they can make an informed decision on where to dine out.